spotlight is on Wisconsin voters once again. Our swing state could determine exactly who will become the next president. Christina Benzels is here in the studio with why your vote holds a lot of weight. Christina? Mary, we are officially 202 days out from the election and all eyes are on Wisconsin once again. The results from the Marquette Law School's poll came out today and they show just how close all of the races still are. From April 3rd to 10th, Marquette University Law School interviewed 814 registered voters. It found both the presidential and Senate races are close yet again. There's a wild difference in the perspective on which issues matter the most, depending on which uh, party we're talking about. The poll shows Donald Trump is supported by 51% of registered voters and Joe Biden is supported by 49%. In February, the two were tied. There's plenty of room for this race to flip either direction. And I just think we're fooling ourselves if we think we have a confident expectation about who's going to be the winner. When you add in third party candidates, Trump gets 41%, Biden gets 40%, and Robert F. Kennedy gets 13%. Poll director Charles Franklin says to have an independent candidate in the teens is something to keep an eye on. It's a more complicated mix of issues within parties. In the Senate race, 52% of voters favor Democratic Senator Tammy Baldwin, while 47% favor Republican challenger Eric Hovde. I think what you're seeing is the power of partisanship. But the poll showed less than half of registered voters are enthusiastic about voting at 47 percent. I think part of it is can you get that excited about a rerun? <laughs> you know, it's episode two of a show that we already saw. Registered voters were also asked what issues are important to them. The top three included the economy, immigration and border security and abortion policies. Choose your issues wisely, I guess is the, the real thing. Now, we do have all of those poll results on our website. That also includes numbers from people likely to vote. There, we just had registered voters. To see that, just head to fox6now.com.